The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency reports that as molds grow, some, but not all of them, may produce potentially toxic byproducts called mycotoxins under various conditions. Some of these molds are also commonly found in moisture-damaged buildings, according to the agency. EPA goes on to share that more than 200 mycotoxins from common molds have been identified, and many more remain to be identified. The amount and types of mycotoxins produced by a particular mold depends on many environmental and genetic factors. No one can tell whether a mold is producing mycotoxins just by looking at it, but there are ways to test for mycotoxins in a qualified laboratory. Regarding potential health effects of exposure to mycotoxins, EPA states the following. Some mycotoxins are known to affect people, but for many mycotoxins little health information is available. Research on mycotoxins is ongoing. Exposure to mycotoxins can occur from inhalation, ingestion, and skin contact. It is prudent to avoid unnecessary inhalation exposure to mold. Mycotoxins have been studied more extensively as they relate to food contamination and ingestion. For example, one specific type, known as aflatoxins, even have action levels for them published by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. In fact, FDA cautions that regularly eating foods with aflatoxins can increase one's risk of liver cancer, cause birth defects, and lead to kidney and immune system problems. They go on to warn that eating foods containing a large amount of aflatoxins at one time can lead to liver failure and even death. Regarding exposure risks to mycotoxins from moldy indoor environments, more studies in the future will provide for a clearer picture of the health effects related to inhalation exposure. These are just a few of the many things to know about mycotoxins and mold exposure risks. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, industrial hygiene, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.